we are now entering the most visited pilgrimage site in Tarlac. Nakapasok na po tayo sa Monastery Tarlac at ito yung malaking simbahan ng monasteryo. Actually, they have three churches. Ito yung biggest church. Dito yung church kung saan nakalagak sa sanctuary ang uh, Relic of the Holy Cross. At sa looban noon, papasok ng monasteryo proper kung saan na nakatira yung mga monk, ay mayroon na namang chapel where the monks pray their breviary and their daily mass. So, we have here the visitors. They're coming from Kamiling. Malayo po yun. How many hours? <laughs> Two hours. Two hours. So, naka four wheels kayo. Ayan. So, say hi to my vlog. Hi. We will now go in the monastery of the Tarlac proper. To the left is the big church. To the right is the way to the recent Christ statue. So, to the left is the Marian Garden. To the right is the Resurrection Garden. So this is the <laughs> selfie spot for Monastery de Tarlac visitors. <laughs> to the left is the temporary restaurant. We are now entering the gate. To the right is the pilgrims comfort rooms. Next to that is the way to the view deck. To the left we are now in front of the monastery office. In front is the shrine of the Relic of the Holy Cross. Nasa tapat na po ako ng Monastery de Tarlac office. And then ito po yung papasok sa Monastery de Tarlac proper. I mean to the monastery closure. Sa clausura. And then ito yung Monastery de Tarlac park kung saan ginaganap ang malaking celebration especially when it comes to the feast of the triumph of the holy cross sapagkat nakalagak sa sa shrine na yan ang relic of the holy cross yun po ang dinadaya sa monastery de Tarlac aside from the praying prayer uh, mission ng mga monks so mamaya titignan po natin sa loob yung ganda ng chapel na to. Napansin nyo napakatahimik dito. Although may mga sasakyan para sa mga PWD. Uh, mararamdaman nyo yung prayerful atmosphere ng paligid. That is the Monastery de Tarlac office. At itong pathway na yan ay papasok sa clausura. It is an enclosed venue for monks kung saan namumuhay sila ng contemplative way of life. At ito naman po ang Shrine of the Holy Cross. Although we already have the big church, pero napakahalaga ng Shrine na ito sapagkat nang dumating sa Pilipinas, ang Relic of the Holy Cross, which came from Germany, ay dito po siya inilagak. Nararamdaman niyo po ang katahimikan habang papasok tayo sa chapel na ito. This is what people used to come here in order to observe silence in order to pray and then sa loob mo ng simbahan na to nandun po yung sanctuary of the body of Christ pero sa baba niyan ay ang relic of the Holy Cross na nasa loob ng casket na yan ang casket po niyan, it's a metallic golden silver na pag binuksan mo ang box na yan, there's another box inside. Sa loob ng box na yan, may isa pang box. In order to preserve what's it's inside, the relic of the Holy Cross. The relic, which is part of the original cross of Christ, which was 2,000 years around that old memoirs that we have. The biggest part of that cross is now in Vatican City, but we are so privileged that in the Philippines we are housing this very important relic. This is a treasure, that's why it is guarded by this 
metals in order to preserve and to secure and everywhere we got CCTV in order for, for the police to to safeguard this relic may God in your kindness in your compassion blot out my offense wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin Psalm 51 verse 1 O rescue me, O God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. The community in this monastery are called the disciples of the risen Christ. So this is the third chapel which is intended for the daily prayers of the monks. Daily masses and their novenas are done here. So this is already a place where they observe the silence. This is already part of the clausura. But our special friends are also invited, especially those who, in one way or another, are helping the community. And they exercise hospitality in this area. So they call it the Bishop's Hall. the image of Mama Mary who welcomes in peace visitors to this hall and those chairs and tables are for special occasions where we meet our friends, benefactors, priests who will be visiting the monastery during special events. So I am inside the venue where we house or we welcome special guests in the monastery. So aside from this uh, air-conditioned area, makikita niyo yung view from the outside ay papunta dun sa mga malalayong bundok, lalo na yung Mount Arayat, na makikita sa medyo kalayuan, Mount Arayat o Pampanga. Dahil mataas ang lugar na to, we are actually overlooking the parking area mula sa mataas na lugar na to. So, this is the clausura. So, no entry, ha? So, hindi ka mo sa Clark. Hindi ka mo sa Clark. Papakita ka lang. Clark, tinignan ka yung venue ng aking building. Okay, see you. See you, see you. So this is the monastery proper. Yan po natutulog ang mga monks. So hindi ito nakikita ng mga outsider. So silence and their residence is sacred. Hindi kaya sa atin sa ordinary na mga tayo sa labas. What is sacred for us is just the church. Pero dito, lahat ng bagay dito is sacred. They observe silence and prayerful atmosphere. Ito po yung kanilang kitchen. This is their dining hall. Marunuri magluto ang mga monks. Even their dining hall is a sacred place. Before they eat, they will read a passage from the Bible and they will read one of the teachings of the church's fathers, especially the monastic's fathers. Ang ganda po ng view dito dahil overlooking na naman tayo sa taas ng building na to makikita mo sa baba yung highway ng mga pilgrims at sa kalayuan na yon 
Yun po yung echo park na pinanggalingan ko kanina. They call me Frater Tom. And kahit nasa labas pala ako, may schedule ako dito every Thursday. <laughs> I'm still part of the community. I'm the reader during Mass on Monday. And Cantor One Leader on Thursday. Choir. 2 to 3 p.m. 3 to 4 p.m. This is the passage way towards the office coming from the inside of the monastery's clausura. So this is the public toilet to the left. And then the pathway going to the office looks like a garden. To the left are flowers. But actually, it is an overlooking view to the highway to the exit of the monastery. Ayan, ang ganda po. Makikita nyo yung mga arko ng ng pathway dun sa uh, Monastery Park. So, that is very significant of the monastery, yung mga ark na ganyan. Yes. So, we are approaching the office. That is the pilgrim's comfort room. And then, we are heading towards the view deck. This Saint Therese, she's also a monk. Hello. So this is San Jose. He is the patron saint of this town, the municipality of San Jose. So this is my favorite spot here in the Monastery of the Talak because it's over, overlooking that hill over there, which is very landmark of uh, San Jose from Monastery of the Talak. And then we have hermitages there, which can accommodate retreatants. There's already garden downhill. And then, this is also my favorite spots during uh, media interviews because it looks like a Disneyland. And uh, the first structures built in the Monasterio de Tarlac was on this site because of those natural landscape, those big rocks became one of the most interesting architectural landmark in Monasterio de Tarlac. I am now passing through Mama Mary's garden. To the left is the Ten Commandments. Turning right, we'll proceed now to the big church. Let's take a look at what's inside the big church. Papasok na tayo ngayon sa loob ng malaking simbahan. So, sa katahimikan, samahan niyo ako sa panalangin.
after presenting to you the three main churches of the monastery, we're heading towards the risen Christ. It symbolizes the three major groups of the monastery that are lack, which is the handmaids of the risen Christ, the oblates of the risen Christ, and the disciples of the risen Christ. We also have the contemplatives of the risen Christ. That's why their, their main landmark here is the 30 feet statue of the risen Christ. And every morning at around 5 a.m., uh, we finish our rosary after uh, walking rosary. Dito, pa, dito kami nagtatapos sa bundok na to while overlooking those sceneries at my back. Ayan. Imagine from 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. prayers namin. Ang lamig-lamig at napaka-meditative. Imagine mararamdaman po dito yung uh, mountain dew in the morning. Malamig-lamig at mabasa-basang mga wilderness ng kabundukan, ng mga kakahuyan, ng mga damo. Ayan. Akit po tayo sa, sa terrace nitong Risen Christ. Uh, what's new for me are this uh, landscape na ginawa nila dito. It's in the form of a heart, so hindi pa siya overgrown, pero it's on the way. Ayan. So, okay tayo sa terrace and ito po yung back part ng recent Christ. Itong pinakaunang uh, statue uh, that was that was uh, constructed in this area. At sa statue na yan, ang statue na yan ay ginawa noong year 2006 2007 hanggang sa dumating yung Relic of the Holy Cross. Okay. So, isa to sa mga naunang construction. Aside from the view deck, yung dinaanan natin view deck doon, at sumunod yung mga bahay ng mga monks. At sumunod na pinaka major uh, construction dito yung chap that houses the Relic of the Holy Cross. Yan. Without the noise of vehicles, without the noise of the city, this is a venue for prayer. That's why instead of calling it a tourist spot, we call it a pilgrimage site. Kung saan ang tao ay pumupunta dito para manalangin. You know the reason Christ is symbolic and very applicable during this time of pandemic where everyone seems to be hope hopeless. Ang reason Christ po ay nagbibigay ng hope because sa kabila ng uh, kahirapan sa kabila ng hopelessness nagbibigay siya ng ng pag-asa na tayo rin ay giginhawa in the future na sa kabila ng kamatayan tayo rin ay muling mabubuhay sa kabila ng kahirapan tayo rin ay tatamasa ng ma maganda at uh, mapayapa at ma matiwasay na pamumuhay Christ papunta ako ngayon sa garden of the risen Christ. Ito ang pinakaunang landscape na ginawa para sa monastery. So, mapapansin nyo sa likod ko, ayan, ang tiyanti ng nakikita yung hugis ng mga landscape natin. These are the beauty of the landscape in the monastery. And, uh, nandito rin yung history ng Monasteryo. So here comes the history of Monastery de Tarlac. It was founded by Father Archie in San Jose Tarlac. 